I tried to do with this tank, or this tub, this, this stock tank, was to somehow find cover in the top part of the uh, tank. I originally thought it would come through the form of water hyacinth. I thought it would come through the form of duckweed. Couldn't get my hands on duckweed. Well, I had some duckweed. Tried to grow it out here. It didn't work. Thought maybe it might be guppy grass. But it's ended up being creeping jenny. So what I found is this stuff does not have to grow completely out of, out of the water. It's almost like it prefers to be like in free water, at least the um, the roots of it. You notice how it kind of crawls along the, uh, the top of the surface of the water. You might see some small guppy fry here and there that are kind of darting in and out of those leaves. Uh, the bigger fish try to chase them in there and then they come back out. Here's a couple of them that have ventured into the empty area. So some of the things I've done, Creeping Jenny over here, I built a kind of little, a little bit of a brick slash rock ledge over here um, to give some more nooks and crannies. Uh, again, my Creeping Jenny there on top of a bunch of bricks, and my Creeping Jenny on top of a few bricks over there. And This part over here is actually pretty open now, um, and so since it's open over here, I put a pond basket with some plastic plants that are kind of floating above there, which kind of look like Creeping Jenny, but I think they're more like a... Um, uh, is that money wart or something like that? But what I've noticed the Creeping Jenny does like to send off sprouts, does like to do cuttings, and so I've been kind of throwing some cuttings here in the pond basket. Now the pond basket isn't necessarily something that I'm planning on doing for a long term, but as I notice little fry start popping up here and there, it's another opportunity for them uh, to have a quick getaway, right? Uh, so thinking like in the first few days, once they're born, they're born in the open water, gives them opportunity to to get away, swim in those tiny little pieces there that the fish that are big enough to put them in their mouth can't put them in their mouth and they escape in here. But notice how there's not hardly anything in there right now because the cover over here is nice. It's just getting over here that's the important part for them. And that's kind of like the um, temporary spot and then the more permanent hiding spots that we have. Even under here I've got like a a brick cave going on, uh, two bricks underneath and two bricks kind of going the opposite way. And um, you can actually get into the cave to the sides, but I remember that was actually built to protect them from the elements out here in case things do fall in or if hail does fall into this tank, they can go and get way under. But it's actually turned into maybe some additional space for the uh, fry to get out of. And here we got a, uh, like a bladder snail uh, that's kind of been doing its stuff. And I think I got some baby snails that are starting. And there's my um, solar power pump. Full sun today because it's been kind of cooler. Um, full sun helped bring the temperature up a little bit. It's also going to bring the algae up, which have actually been under control for a while here. Um, but I got snails and I got these guys. The algae will help encourage more tiny uh, organisms there in these uh, shallow waters. And there's kind of the cover in action as these little guys can kind of hop in and out of these areas. And that's the update for today. First week of July is now over. Get to the hot time, even though it's not that hot today. Peace.